Uh, this is James at Louder with Crowder. I'm looking for Roland Clark. Is this him? Diddy's drug mule arrested at same time rapper's sons were put in cuffs. You guys already know what is happening with Diddy. We know where his homes in Miami and LA were raided. One thing I did not know, and I have some interesting information to give you guys, you may not have heard anywhere else. So make sure you watch this entire video because we're also going to get to something interesting that's going on with his plane currently. Um, so if you, I did not know that he also had a $60 million yacht, but it does not surprise me um, that he does. We know, you know, Puffy or P. Diddy love, whatever this man's um, schizophrenia tells him that day that he is or who, what's his name is. He changes his name every time he gets in trouble. Um, and I do think we have an R. Kelly kind of case coming, coming up. But one of the things I wanted to get into before this is to tell you, you know, I am from Washington, D.C. My entire family works for the federal government. My father retired at DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency. So when I tell you I am very familiar how these agencies work, I am. Um, so when Homeland Security here in DC, when they their investigation in, investigative arm goes after you, which mostly looks not just exclusively, but one of their biggest things that they are responsible for is human trafficking. Okay, they are the ones that are going to investigate that. When they raid your home simultaneously on two different coasts, let me tell you now, it's curtains, it's finito. You, they basically are using that as to get extra evidence against you to see what they can get. Now, I find it curious that Diddy was actually, uh, it seems as though he was tipped off. Now, one of two things could have happened. Was he tipped off and he left? He left the home with his, he called, he called them kids. His sons are grown. One of them's 30 and that's actually implicated in one of the lawsuits um, where, you know, it was, it was said that he was ha have trafficking in minors to have sex with them, uh, as well as, um, uh, you know, these gay sex parties, all types of things. And you know, Diddy has his freak offs. So these are not kids. He has two, he has three minor daughters Two, his twins are 17. And I forget the baby, I think is one, uh, one, his daughter named love. And then his other daughter that he has is 18 years old. And then, uh, the, um, the middle one is he's somewhere in his twenties. We don't care. Then the oldest is 30. He's actually implicated in things. So they, the two older, the two grown men, grown sons were in his home and they were taken out in handcuffs. So people were just like, Oh, uh, you know, are they getting arrested? Are they not? We don't know what type of implications they may have. Um, Again, we have empathy and sympathy for children in this situation, but these are adults. These are not, uh, these are not children. But what's crazy is that the people are saying no one was getting arrested who was in handcuffs. Well, yes, they were. And we know one reason I'm bringing this story to light is because this is something interesting, a take that Candace Owens has that he is just like Epstein, a fall guy for what is really going on with Holly Weird, with the agenda that they're pushing on our children, the agenda that they're pushing on our families, where they want to destroy the nuclear family, where everything is about transgender and LBGTQ, A, A B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't know the whole rainbow and spectrum at this point. But what I'm saying is they, they are trying to push these agendas on us. And if we say anything about it, we're, 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 we're bigots. We, we have a phobia We're we're racist. Everyone is wrong except for them. If we have any type of morals or don't like these things that are happening and influencing our youth, influencing our culture, well, then we're bad again in the today's world in today's liberal world, we are good is called bad and bad is called good. And these are the things that really people are tired of and I, and we see these type of agendas being pushed and why they try to p persecute those who are trying to, to, to say the right thing, do the right things. But one of the, the thing that Candace Owens said that he is like Jeffrey Epstein. And what is curious is that he hired Ghislaine Maxwell's attorney, which I may do in another video to give you information, but let's get into Diddy's drug mule. Okay. A man accused of being Diddy's drug mule was arrested trying to board at the same time was trying to board at the same time the rapper's mansion was raided by police. I don't know, was trying to board what? Brendan Paul, 25, was arrested by Miami-Dade police alongside Homeland Security agents at Opalaka Airport in Miami about 4.30 p.m. on Monday. Federal agents raided Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami at the same day as part of a sex trafficking investigation and detained two of his sons. Justin and King Combs were later released without charge. 
photos show at least two men were in handcuffs during the Los Angeles raid. Um, so there's Diddy with his jet. Now, this is what's interesting. Some people are saying that he just ran, he fled. Well, see, that's the two things I wanted to get to. Was he tipped off and he was trying to get out of there and was trying to, and got on his jet to get out of there? Or was he already going somewhere and then he was tipped off? Because we know there's footage of him actually being at the Miami airport. So this is Diddy right now at his mansion, I'm not at his mansion, at the Miami airport, just walking around. I don't see him talking. I don't see him with an earpiece. It looks like he's just contemplating. People are concerned, not that they care about Diddy's life, but they're concerned that he's going to be taken out or take himself out before a bigger scandal can be exposed. Because we know that part of what is being alleged is that he actually has blackmail tapes on multiple people in different industries, including politicians, very similar to Jeffrey Epstein. And again, his attorney is Ghislaine Maxwell's attorney. He hired her a month ago. So he knew these things were coming down the pipeline. Now, another reason why we know he knows that this is coming down the pipeline is guess who the, the LA mansion, the Beverly Hills mansion was registered to. That was registered to one of his daughters. So we believe it was registered to one of his underage twins. We're not sure. He does have three daughters. I don't think it's registered to his, um, his, uh, his, the, the baby. And it could be the daughter that is now 18. I think there, she's only five months apart from the two twins. So either it's one of the twins or the 18 year old who that mansion is in her name. Believe that it is believed that he has been all offloading all of his assets to his children. Have you noticed too that on her social media, actually, I'll pull it up, take a look at this. So this is Diddy's Instagram. And you can see he's been posting a lot ever since a lot of his scandals and things have been going on. And obviously since uh, Kim Porter, the mother of his three of his children, his son King and his two, um, his two twin daughters, which are right here, which are Delilah and Star, I believe their names are. Um, but it's alleged that he actually had Kim Porter taken out. I'm not getting into that. It's so many rabbit trails. But he's been posting so much of his kids, him praying. Um, enough is enough. What does this say, Lord Jesus? Um, he's also turned off his comments. They've been turned off for a while. I think since the Diddy situation for the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to, um, what is this? Assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Uh, sickening allegations have, <laughs> have been made against me by individuals looking for a, what? I'm sorry guys, this is so things for uh, a quick payday. Let me be let, oh, wait, I gotta make this bigger guys because I cannot see a thing that this is saying. Yeah, you know, your girl is blind. Um, here we go. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my fam, for my name, my family, and for the true Sean Diddy Combs. So this is a lot of victim, um, you know, victim blaming. This is a lot of, you know, not having accountability, but you know, I, I, I do advocate for men a lot. Oh, that's a better look. I do advocate a lot for men on my channel, but not a man like this because he has, he is part of the problem. He's the part of the decay of the society. He's part of the decay in, in many facets of society. He represents Hollywood. He represents Holly weird, the elite, these people who are getting away with massive crimes that you and I as the ordinary citizen cannot do, but he's posting these things. He's such a victim. He's posting his family a lot. Oh Lord. I know Janet Jackson want that off. I want her off of there is so bad, but let's look at when he, okay. See, he started, let's see right here. This was November 10th. And I remember the Cassie thing happened last November. After that, look at how much he's posting his kids, his tributes, everything's about God and his assassination, his mama before and saying he did post his kids and things, but he was posting more things about himself. Really? Okay. Like it, a lot of these things are him. Are these his daughters that he's allowing looking like, no, that's young Miami. Okay, then he was posting mostly, if he posted anything, it would be about his little, his youngest daughter here and there. But now everything since November has been about his family to show, you know, himself as this type of man and branding himself like that. 
Um, and now let me just show you this quickly now that we've taken a look at this. I went to Flight Aware to look up his plane. This is what his plane is, is Love Air, Air LLC, West Hollywood. Look at what this says. This aircraft is not available for public tracking per request from the owner operator. So they know people have been tracking him and they, he shut down his flight being able to be tracked, but you cannot shut down everything, right? And just so you guys know that it is his, there it is, Love Air. It's registered to West Hollywood, California. Uh, the engine is a Rolls Royce engine. Okay. I see you. Um, it looks like the certificate was issued in 2020. Uh, I don't know, understand all these things, but it's different, the registration, but this is love air. Again, he's changed his name to love. His new daughter's name is love. This is his plane, but take a look at where he's at. People are saying, did he flee the country? Some was saying he was in Cape Verde. Some people said he was in, uh, Antigua. No, no, no. I don't know if he's still here in the U S uh, he could be, could not be, but that's where his plane is right now. Want to guess where that is? And you see that number matches Love Air, N1, N1969C. Again, let's look at his registration. Um, same one, N1969C. This is Diddy's plane. Where is this man? Where is this man? Let's zoom this out so you guys can see. He is right there in Antigua, technically St. John's. <laughs> Antigua, this is where he is right now. So it is, it has been sitting there for a while, but he was spotted at the Miami airport. People don't know if he was detained. People don't know if he was picked up. We don't know what's going on with him, but his flight was tracked all the way here. Now, this is Steven Crowder uh, being messy. Uh, had one of his producers, let me make this a little bit, scoot that in. Sorry guys, I'm doing this on the fly, so this is not gonna be the best looking video, but we're doing our best. Um, look at this. Look at Steven Crowder being messy. Uh, this is James at Louder with Crowder. I'm looking for Roland Clark, is this him? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, we're just calling to confirm. We got information from a source that you are Diddy's pilot and you might have information on the... Uh, uh, the... I, have, I, I can't talk on that, thanks. Are you sure? Okay. Uh, this so they're being messy and Roland Clark is his, um, pilot. So that's Roland Clark right there. And he called him to get information, but I don't know why they thought that this man would give up anything. Um, clearly he doesn't want to lose his employment. He's still, you know, the, these, uh, but this man probably knows where the bodies are buried. Uh, metaphorically, or it could be, I don't know. There's a lot of accusation. We know Kit Cuddy said he blew up his car. There's accusations that he got um, um, Biggie Smalls um, taken out. There's accusations that he had Kim Porter's baby mother taken out and several other people. There have been a lot of speculation about him throughout the years. But guys, I wanted to give that about his, um, his person. So let's get back into that story. Here we go. So Diddy was spotted about 3 p.m. in Opelika Airport not too long before Paul was arrested there. Hours after the race started after his jet flew in from LA. Department of Homeland Security and other local law enforcement offices contacted by DailyMail.com on Tuesday have not been able to comment on Diddy's location and it was not clear where he went. Paul has been held at Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center in Miami on two $2,500 bonds for cocaine and marijuana possession, according to jail records. That's a very low bonds. I guess that's all they could connect him to right now, but best believe they will be investigating further. Um, and, and, you know, I, again, I, I don't really have any sympathy for this man. I don't really care because it, there's just been so many rumors about him throughout the years. And that's actually the one thing I wanted to show that a lot of Cat Williams, who went on the Shannon Sharp show, a lot of his predictions or what he was saying, people were going to be exposed in 2024. It's coming to pass. Let's take a look at what Cat Williams had to say about these things coming down the pipeline. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. It's God. So as you can see, 
this is why that went viral because Cat Williams spoke fearlessly. He was a man that was standing on honor and integrity. And a lot of these Holly weirdos did not like him because he he's talked about how they're trying to take our children. They're trying to influence our children. They're trying to corrupt our country. And, and this is where we see they're creating the gender wars and, and, and what we see going between men and women and, and those types of things. And a lot of people are unable to connect the dots, but I'm able to, because for years, guys, my work has been studying, you know, dating and relationships. And as I'm getting into that, I started to see this huge gender war going on where women are being told, you know, that they can just indulge themselves, live into themselves, corporations support it. We have me too. We have all of these, these very, woke agendas that are meant to demonize and cancel men, cancel men's leadership, cancel men's wisdom. They want to do away with the nuclear family. BLM was saying, you don't need a, you don't need a father in the home. You don't need men in their children's lives. You don't like all of these things to want to erase men. We see this at university levels. Um, there's an article I want to get to you guys where it talks about how, um, research has been done. It says school feminizes boys. So it's all of these things where they're trying to push us into debauchery. There, and we see a lot of these experiments and a lot of these things, these woke and leftist ideas have had catastrophic, um, devastation and catastrophic results within the black community. We saw that with welfare and how that divided the black home, telling black women, they don't need a man. They don't need the man in the home by the government saying, if you have a man in the home, you cannot receive government assistance. So women saying, well, I can do it on my own. I want these other things. We saw how Cosmo influenced the first media, not the first media, but one of the first medias to really influence feminism, feminism onto women. And, and, and just the effects have snowballed and you see what's happening in the black community today. And then we have cowards and we have degenerates like P Diddy that have influenced to destroy the black community even more. There's been horrific stories about him throughout the years and the things that he has done. Okay. And, and we've seen different whistleblowers and what happens to the whistleblowers. They're labeled as crazy. They're labeled as nut jobs. They're labeled as something's wrong with them. Again, like they do you and I, they label us as biggest. They label us as racist. They label us as homophobes. They label us with all these things so that we don't, we are not awake. They use quote. They say that they're woke, you know, that they're, they're woke. I don't even know what that means like, that we are awake. And so that, but they want us to stay asleep. They want us to stay sheep. They, and then we have people, I just did the video about the Baltimore um, bridge collapse and how people like Pete booty. I cannot say his last name, Pete booty, who wants to say that racism is the cause of our infrastructure failures in this country because they're trying to hurt black and brown people. So that's why the infrastructure is like that. They want to blame everything, their incompetence and everything that they are doing on something that's racist. And the same thing in the black community, if you call out the degeneracy, if you call out the Holly weird, if you call out the black people that are contributing to the failures of the black community, influencing our young people through music, through the movies, through all the, the, the political corruption, influencing these things. If you call them out, well, you just don't like black people. Like Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for him, then you're not black. You're not black enough. You know, old Joe, old massa Biden who bought black people fried chicken to come sit with them and talk with his styrofoam containers. This is the idiocy that we, that is running the country. This is, these are the type of people that we are told we need to bow down to and listen to. But guys, I thought I would bring that piece of information to it. Um, make sure you guys, um, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this and I will see you on the next one. Bye.